Hello everybody, I am Dr. Ruchi, uh, ophthalmologist practicing in Faridabad. Today I am going to give you some information about uh, a corneal disease which we are uh, commonly finding it uh, these days. It is keratoconus or commonly known as conical cornea. Cornea is basically uh, a transparent structure which is in front of the iris and the lens and is an optical um, uh, surface from which the light rays uh, pass and form uh, image on the retina. This corneal surface is a curved structure with, a, with about 11.5 millimeter diameter and the thickness, central thickness of the cornea is about uh, uh, 0.5 to 0.6. And in Indian eyes, we generally take it around 540, which is an average uh, diameter, uh, the central corneal thickness. Now, what happens at times is that the cornea is a, a curved structure uniformly, but at times it is at places flattened, at places more steep. So the light rays falling on this cornea, they disperse, they do not focus on the retina. In fact, they disperse and the image becomes blurred. To correct this dispersion of the light, we have to put uh, lenses, which we call cylindrical lenses with the axis and it is no, uh, known as astigmatism. It is also seen that it, at times the astigmatism uh, is very high. In children, we are finding it very commonly around uh, minus two, minus three, beginning of the cylindrical uh, power. and. Around the age of 9 to 12, we must keep a check on this curvature of the cornea. As the height will increase, as the body growth will take place, the cornea, the eyeball will also increase in size and the cornea also changes its shape. So we check for the curvature of the cornea and we check for the central thickness of the cornea because when the cornea is uh, getting more curved, the periphery becomes uh, it becomes more curved like this. So the central portion becomes very thin. So generally as a base uh, investigation, we check with children with high cylindrical power for the corneal curvature and the uh, central thickness. In case we find something uh, wrong in that, the cornea becomes more thinner or the curvature is more steeper, uh, which is around say uh, around the reading of 47, 49, 50 or so. Then we go in for further investigations like pentacam. Uh, and the common there's a uh, treatment for this. This is uh, C3R, which is a laser treatment for the correction of the uh, corneal structure for corneal surface, but not for the removal of the lens. This is done by the cornea specialist. And uh, at times we also see that women during pregnancy, uh, during after delivery, or sometimes in adults uh, after the body growth has stopped, but still the power suddenly increases. That is a strong indication that please do get your cornea examined by the uh, your doctor because uh, it could be a uh, sudden changes in the corneal curvatures. This can be very risky factor also because if the cornea in the center becomes very thin, it can lead to severe uh, damages, complications, which can be then treated by the uh, cornea transplant only. But if we keep an uh, assessment over the uh, period of time for the children and young adults about the corneal uh, surface measurements and the central corneal thickness, then we can uh, at an early stage get this laser treatment C3R or just keep an eye on the uh, uh, changes in the power and correct it. So uh, that is what I wanted to tell you about this uh, keratoconus. There are patients whom we suggest that uh, do not uh, do get the corneal, uh, uh, central corneal thickness and the uh, corneal uh, curvature tested, but they are not aware of this conical cornea or the keratoconus and they avoid getting it. But please, if your uh, uh, doctor suggests you, then you must get this these investigations to done. Thank you.